Hey everybody, hope you are doing well. I'm still feeling a bit under the weather. I know it's been a while, but it is <coughs> it is what it is. Um, with that said, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Uh, I wanted to revisit one of my favorite uh, female vocalists, Faith Hill, off of my favorite album of hers, The Cry Album. And uh, I want to hit this beautiful song called Back to You. It really does a wonderful job highlighting the strength of her voice. There's a lot of power in this vocal. And um, it's a bit more of a rock ballad setting rather than a pure country setting. So it hits a bit heavier than uh, I think the country fans uh, would have or gravitated towards. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's just, it's just a great song. It's just a great vocal performance and a great song. So let's let's check it out. This is uh, Back to You by Faith Hill. Don't 
Am I right? Isn't it a beautiful song? And there's a lot of power in there, both in the band side and her vocal side, too. Um, by the way, I'm sorry for drinking so much of this. Honestly, it's the only way my voice is getting through this. Uh, um, <clears throat> something I, I've been saying for years and years and years. Um, the, the Nashville studio musician job is uh it's a tough one to get first and foremost that's for sure you got to be really really talented and know your way around um your instrument but also a studio not to mention the whole studio process in nashville but here's the thing back in the 90s in the u.s when grunge kind of took over or that style of music kind of took over those uh those shredder guitar players from 80s hair metal bands and what have you you know, pretty much saw the writing on the wall. You had really two choices. You either, you know, cut ties and didn't play shred metal hard rock uh, anymore. And, or you went to, um, you went to Japan or to Asia or to Europe or to South America where that type of music, that, that shredder style of music um, <clears throat> kind of kept going, you know, uh, you, if you talk to people from overseas, and several of them have told me this, it's like, well, the, the grunge thing wasn't really nearly as big over in Europe and Asia as it was here in the U.S. It just wasn't, okay? And, and um, <clears throat> meanwhile, the shredder guitar players who are like, well, I'm not, I'm not going to go move to Japan. I'm not going to go move to Korea, South Korea or, or Brazil, Um my family's here. This is where I'm staying. So a lot of them went to Nashville. And what they ended up doing was, um, you know, becoming studio guys. <clears throat> he had guitar players like Dan Huff, who's a world-renowned producer. Uh, but before that, he was in a metal band called Giant. And, and, and he was he's just a killer guitar player. And th there's a number of other guitar players that sort of were in that same vein of things. I mean, when John Five first came out, he wasn't John Five. He was John Lowry. And um, he was a studio musician. As amazing guitar player as he is, he was a studio musician, you know. And uh, until he got his gig with Marilyn Manson, did anybody know who he was? And then he changed his name to John Five. Um, <clears throat> so with that said, the guitar playing in this is, is, in my opinion, I mean, this is circa 2000 and, I don't know, 2000, 2004, 2006, somewhere in their mid-2000s. You know, um, I, I can't remember who the guitar player is. And I know I know Dan Huff worked on this album as both a producer and as a musician. Um, but there were another a number of other notable musicians on this record. But it's it's kind of like when you hear that that guitar solo in the middle of it, you hear a, a um, you know, for lack of a better term, 80s hair metal guitar player going, oh, I get to shred. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, obviously it does an amazing job of it. Uh, I will also say this too. There have been a number of times since this album came out where I've listened to this song and I've had a guitar on it. And I've just just jammed over it because it's just a really good, fun groove to uh, to let, let loose in. Um, so anyway, with that said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this short because I don't want to cough anymore in the microphone. Um, I wish you all well. Thank you for watching. Um, please feel free to comment on the comment section below and we can talk about it further and, uh, y'all take care.